Uh, a very good morning and uh, we are going to talk uh, on an important subject today. It is on safety in uh, uh, glass handling. So let me open the topic with the background. Uh, in the picture what you can see is uh, there is a breakage of glass uh, when it is stored. And actually there is a two angle of this problem. One is that uh, at the time of breakage, uh, the kind of hazard, uh, the potential hazard it poses and after the breakage you can see the you know spilled collets over that place uh, making a big uh, hazardous condition or situation in which people can slip, trip and fall and uh, make an injury. And uh, if you really see uh, the glass uh, handling then there are four ways and means of uh, it is handled. One, uh, basically people they handle the glass uh, manually and there is a methodology of handling it mechanically uh, by using lot of mechanical equipments and another way of uh, common handling of glass is lifting and moving of big glasses uh, using UOT cranes and another material handling equipment, a common material handling equipment like forklift truck is used for glass in bundles. So this is the ways uh, in which uh, different uh, ways in which glass uh, is handled and uh, when we go about uh, you know loading and unloading of glass for transportation uh, in fact it has to be loaded into the truck and this is also turned out to be a hazardous operation where in which uh, the glass packed in crates can fall onto a person when the person is inside a kind of a confined space in the truck. And in containers also, uh, it is again a confined space where you uh, load the glass or unload it also from what it is coming from the container. This also poses a lot of hazardous situation in the operations. Now coming to transportation of glass, the packed glass on roads using truck, this is also a hazardous operation where in which you know the condition of our roads and the truck can topple and the people go near to it uh, to retrieve or as at the time of toppling or else the accident happens at that point of time it can hurt anybody. So these are, these are all some important topics where in which the safety of handling glass coming into picture. Now this picture shows uh, what you can see is a kind of an injury, a cut injury basically when uh, the human body part basically hands, legs or whatever it may be getting exposed to the sharp edges of glass. So uh, the cut injury caused by glass is uh, it's, it's actually uh, very uh, dangerous. It can go deep cut also based on the weight and the size uh, of the glass. So th th basically the, uh, the consequence of a kind of an unsafe condition act and an accident is most uh, prominently will result into a kind of uh, cut injuries to human beings which is a great concern in this field and that is why the importance or the prominence uh, of uh, glass handling with care and safety, the topic coming uh, and uh, it takes a lot of relevance. Now. Uh, I am going to talk about uh, the glass handling as such has got uh, different domains. Uh, one is the storage part, basically after the production of glass it needs to be stored at some place. Then you need to handle while storing and uh, to move uh, in between the stores from one place to another place. And then comes safety in loading and unloading because for the dispatches it has to be loaded into trucks. Then safety in transportation, while you transport the glass, what kind of precautions you need to take care. And other two topics which are complementary to this uh, domains of glass handling, one is uh, it is a very bigger topic, uh, risk assessment, but specific to glass handling, what is the relevance of risk assessment we need to talk. And then personal protective equipment, okay, in order to protect a person from injury, you need to basically uh, uh, based on the hierarchy of controls, you need to talk about elimination, substitution and lot of engineering controls and then training, administrative control. But in glass handling, what is very important is to uh, select and uh, make the people to wear 
a minimum or else uh, uh, what is mandated, what is adequate personal protective equipments. At the worst case, as a last, last uh, option of defense, it should protect or else mitigate or reduce the, uh, you know, the level of uh, injury or the consequences or the gravity of the injury for the people who are handling the glass. Now, let us talk about the first, uh, uh, the safety in glass storage. Okay, generally, uh, if, wherever you go to a glass manufacturing industry or else a processing industry, you will see, uh, you will get to see uh, a place where, you know, glass is stored. Okay, so uh, basically, it's, uh, glass has to be stored in dry condition on its edge. This is the common practice. And short edge or long edge is dependent on size, substance and availability of the space. So, you can see a big warehouses where you have ample uh, amount of space to storage it safe and uh, there are uh, small players where you know space is a constraint and they they are uh, basically because of the space constraint lot of hazard half hazard storage conditions coming into place. And the four factors what we need to consider uh, the glass should not be in contact with any substance that is harder than itself that creates you know it, it, it actually augment the breakage of glass and the angle of inclination or lean of the glass should be 3 degree from the vertical on uh, static racks. It can, it should, the minimum is 3, you know, it can be 3 to 5 like that, we, what we call it as. And glass stored on its edge should be supported as evenly as possible. If uneven surface is there, then that also, you know, creates an unsafe situation. The flooring of, uh, should be of adequate strength to stop, support the weight of the stack. So, this is what uh, the four factors which need to be considered. Now, here you can really see what it is right angle of storage and what is wrong. The wrong angle of storage you can really predict that you know there is all chances that you know it can slip, slide and then create a kind of an uh, unsafe condition. And now, uh, what are the different types of storages, what is available? As a common accepted practice, basically wall racks is one common method, it is a simple method. Uh, not recommended for a large volume, but uh, when larger quantities are to be stored against wall, single sided free standing racks to be used to avoid imposed loading on the wall. And there is something called as end caps, it is, it's, you know, you properly pack the glass with some nails and steel strapping and then multiple packs also you bind it and then fit it to a stabilizer legs and add stability. This is uh, some different ways of storage of glass. So, basically what it is uh, discussed here is, we need to have a methodology of stacking or storing the glass, which is very important for the safety. <coughs> we can see the end caps, uh, here in the picture you can see a single pack, uh, which will be very, uh, you know, uh, you know b b based on the stability, what you can see, single pack will not be that much stable. Then when it is kept two strap, uh, two packs and then bundled with a steel strap and all, it is safe or else you have to, if you are keeping a single strap, then it has to be uh, uh, with, the, with the support uh, uh, thing what it is shown in this picture. And now uh, another types of, uh, you know, storage is like tossed or bin racks. Uh, this means uh, storing small quantities, this is the best uh, one. And uh, construction should include cross bracing along the length of the rack and each must be firmly secured to the floor and or to the ceiling. So, this is the way in the picture it is very clear. So, this is the way small quantities of glass uh, what we can store. And then uh, glass supporting on frame. So, this, this is the way of you know racks used in pairs aligned and suitable, suitably spaced and uh, based on the required width of the glass. It is very clear in the picture how at the both the sides uh, or on a frame glass is stored with an angle of inclination, safe angle of inclination. And uh, there is something called as a frame, uh, which is also very common in storage as well as transportation. So, uh, it is it's, uh, it's, it's a kind of, a, it's, it has got a shape of an a frame and uh, with a cast iron or fabricated angle iron, uh, then uh, both the sides uh, we can store the glass. Now, uh, when glass stored at uh, sites, uh, there it is important to have some checkpoints uh, uh, to be followed. So, uh, I can explain this checkpoints, what it is important and what it is, what it is need to be followed. So, 
basically we need to check whether the glass is at ground level or not and uh, floor loadings of the buildings or platform sufficient to take the weight. This is what is very important and uh, it is necessary to distribute the weight of glass over the floor. Then uh, uh, the access sufficient to allow uh, delivery of vehicle onto the site. So, this needs to be checked uh, at the time of maneuvering to load into the vehicle or unload from the vehicle there can be accidents happen. Then what type of racking will be required to hold the glass? Is the ground suitable to erect that kind of racks? And what means uh, of handling are available to unload the glass from the truck uh, to the racking area? Okay. Then is it uh, of uh, sufficient capacity, whether it is a crane or whatever it may be? Is the area where the glass is to be stored secure and safe from accidental damage by other uh, contractors on the sites? And uh, will it present a hazard to anyone not associated directed with this uh, work? And can dry storage condition be provided? So, these are all the some checkpoints which we need to take care when glass is stored at a site. And now, when glass is stored, there are four ways with which uh, a glass can fall and then create an unsafe condition. So, in the first picture, what you can see is uh, it is uh, it is fall sideways. Uh, and uh, another picture you can see see the person how he is standing and uh, the glass can fall on to him. So, that is fall forward and he is very much in the glass falling zone and there is something called as fall by slipping glass just slips and then falls and uh, another way uh, another uh, way of glass falling is you know when glass is lifted and the person is on uh, on uh, beneath the glass uh, the glass can fall from the top. Uh, by you know the vacuum failure and uh, kind of uh, situations. So, uh, this is this is what uh, the important thing and every place where glass is stored there is what we call it as glass falling zone. So, people have to be away or they should not be inside in, in the glass falling zone. And uh, this is uh, so having said about uh, the warehouse and the ways and means and methodology to safely store glass and handle the glass safely in the warehouses. Uh, I would like to share few best practices, uh, you know, which is used in uh, 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 some warehouses where glass is being stored. Basically, there is something called a storage limit. Uh, you will keep the racks and the runner woods will be there. So, basically, there has to be a limit for the storage. You cannot keep, uh, uh, you know, empty number of glass and then keep on uh, storing it. And uh, when it is uh, crates are stored, so there is something called as pyramidal stacking. That means if you are storing on two tires, so the upper tire uh, should be the uh, quantity what it is kept, it should be lesser than the base tower. So that uh, that's a pyramidal stacking. Then wherever we have broken glass in the warehouse, it needs to be identified and angle of stacking, which is very very important. And there should be some means of checking it and ensuring it, you know, angle of stacking is uh, more than 3 degree. And uh, in the when the truck comes and goes, you know, th there will be a pit actually. So, that pit uh, needs to be closed, uh, there should not be any gaps. And wherever somebody going on top of the truck or at certain height people are working, there should be fall prevention or protection systems should be available. And uh, truck driver and glass, you know, uh, the glass is always associated with, you know, people who are carrying it uh, in on the roads and then they come to our warehouses. So, there should be some minimum safety uh, uh, information need to be passed on to the truck drivers. And uh, uh, when, when uh, on uh, uh, the next uh, point is that whenever we uh, move glass on um, shovel, so, it needs to be secured uh, uh, even on trolley also when glass is moved. Glass should be moved uh, with the uh, minimum amount of uh, or basic amount of securing. And uh, then any lifting equipment that is used to uh, handle glass, it should have uh, the safe working load known and respected. And uh, there is something called as blind spot uh, in warehouses where you store glass in between the glass uh, where people pass or uh, uh, the uh, forklift pass or something like that. There can be a lot of blind corners available. So, all these blind corners should be uh, identified and uh, they should be, 
there should be convex mirror fitted into that particular area and all the drivers, people who are working in that area, they should be authorized and there should be minimum speed limits for any material handling equipment that is moved inside the warehouse where you handle the glass. Moving on, um, uh, uh, okay, there uh, there are some, F, uh, for if, even if we carry uh, glass on forklift, you know, it should, uh, in the night and all, it should be uh, forklift, uh, the headlight should be on and uh, hazardous area, there should be good amount of illumination and lighting uh, in the uh, uh, glass uh, warehouses, uh, it is an important point and uh, walkways should be isolated from the storages, otherwise, you know, people walk and they are uh, body is exposed to the sharp edges of glass or sideways some glass can break and then fall that sharp edges will get exposed to the people who are walking and uh, any uh, wood and glass uh, is commonly found in any kind of warehouse. So, wood cutting machine it needs to be properly uh, guarded and then authorized people only should be doing it. Then uh, glass uh, when you handle it in EOT crane and all the slings are used, a lot of slings are used. So, we get to know a lot of uh, about unsafe conditions where you know people their fingers are getting entangled into in between the sling and the glass bundles or glass crates. So, that need to be avoided you know, not to handle uh, the slings with the uh, fingers and uh, the glass falling zone there should be constant or frequent sensitization programs on glass falling zone. People should be discouraged to be there moving or working in the glass falling zone and um, uh, basically wheel uh, choker uh, for the trucks and then uh, minimum any 450 mm gap is uh, required between the gaps and uh, there should be a uh, you know a pre operation checklist for all the equipments that is used for glass handling and dedicated pedestrian walkways and uh, the, the C device finger locking. So, these are all different ways and means of uh, you know safety uh, practices that has been implemented in warehouses.